Hi, my name is Shang. I'm from Mountain of China. Here is how my story begins. In the Mountain of China, there lived a panda named Shang. In a bitter cold winter, his mom left him alone in the mountain while she searched for food. With the sub-zero temperatures, Sean was nearly dead while he was laying under the tree waiting for his mom to return. Let's stay tuned for a more detail of Sean's story. It was a bitter cold Sunday afternoon in the remote mountains of Sichuan, China. The snow fell heavily, covering the landscape in a pristine white blanket. The Li family, consisting of Mr. Li, his two energetic boys, Xiao and Wei, and their loyal dog, Bai, decided to take advantage of the chilly weather for a family hike. As the Li family ventured into the heart of the mountains, the air became crisp and the scenery breathtaking. The sound of crunching snow beneath their boots echoed through the serene forest. The boys giggled and raised a head, their laughter filling the air, while Mr. Lee followed behind, a smile playing on his weathered face. As they trudged through the snow, Bai's ears perked up, and he barked, drawing the family's attention to a small, shivering bundle nestled under a tree. To their astonishment, it was a near-dead baby panda, its fluffy fur matted with snow. Concern etched on their faces, the Lee family wasted no time. Mr. Lee carefully scooped up the tiny creature, cradling it in his arms. The boys, wide-eyed with wonder, immediately suggested taking the panda home. Wrapped in warm blankets, the baby panda was carried back to the Lee family's humble abode. With gentle hands, they nursed it back to health, feeding it warm milk until its strength returned. The boys affectionately named their new friend Xiong, a fitting name that meant bear in Chinese. As weeks passed, Xiong grew stronger and more playful. The Li family's bond with the panda deepened, and it became a cherished member of their household. The boys, especially Xiao and Wei, spent hours playing with Xiong. In the yard, laughter echoing through the mountains. The Lee family's daily routine adjusted to accommodate their newfound companion. They planted bamboo shoots in their backyard to ensure Xiong had a steady supply of his favorite food as he grew. The once near-dead baby panda thrived, its black and white fur gleaming in the sunlight. As the seasons changed, so did Xiong that he transformed from a tiny, fragile creature into a robust and lively panda. The Lee family, in turn, grew to love their unusual pet, finding joy in the unique experience of raising a wild animal. However, as much as they cherished Xiong, the Li family knew that his true home was in the wild. With heavy hearts, they decided it was time to return him to his natural habitat. The family hiked back into the mountains, carrying Xiong in a specially designed crate. They reached a secluded area, far from human settlements, and opened the crate. Xiong hesitated for a moment, looking back at the family that had cared for him with love and devotion. But as if understanding, he ambled into the forest, disappearing into the dense bamboo groves. As the Lee family watched Xiong vanish into the wilderness, a mixture of sadness and pride filled their hearts. They had not only saved a near-dead baby panda but also provided him with a second chance at life. The mountains echoed with the sounds of nature. A gentle reminder that some bonds are meant to be cherished and released, allowing the wild to reclaim its own. The Lee family returned home, their hearts full of memories, knowing that they had played a small part in the tale of a panda, finding its way back to where it truly belonged. The days after releasing Xiong into the wild were filled with a quiet longing for the Lee family. 
Xiao and Wei, in particular, miss the playful antics and furry companionship of their beloved panda. Bai, the loyal dog, seemed to sense their sorrow and join them on their hikes, his tail wagging in solidarity.